Welcome back everyone to another episode of Pal World with me, Dr. Munchkin. So, we've been upgrading. Last time we actually fought one of the bosses in the tower over here. Yes, we beat, uh, we beat the pair of them. That was not too bad, but we're not feeling ready to take this one on, or this one, or this is the new one that definitely can't take on the Moonflower Tower. But, we did some exploring, because we were exploring kind of over here, finding some stuff, and that's when we defeated that, but also we were exploring up here, coming down, and we found this place. Now that place is going to be amazing, because today what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to this Bella Noir slab, we're going to try to take on the boss. Now this is a raid boss that they added um, to the game. Very fun. Now the version that we're doing, because we have not gotten into the high tier dungeons yet, is only level 30, hence why I think we can do it. We are level 46, our party is quite beefy as well for the most part in the 40s, and we do have um, a few pals that are in the box, because it's going to be at a base, right? Um, if I sort by level, sort, we have 43, 40, like, we have 10 level gains over, over this guy and we can hold a bunch of pals in the base, so I'm hoping that we can defeat it in the appropriate amount of time. What I'm doing right now, though, prior to heading out, is we're trying to get some extra ammo. We found these to be very powerful, so I almost have 300 rounds of shotgun, and I have over 500 rounds of assault rifle ammo. Because we also got assault rifles. <laughs> um, now this one is a plus one. We also got a pump shotgun, and then I was able to find this heat-resistant palmetto armor, which is amazing. It's a huge jump in our defense. So hopefully we can live. Now, I've I've heard that you can actually die during this, and you kind of just respawn right there in the middle of the fight. But the biggest thing is we have to keep the pals afloat. So as our guys faint, we got to go switch them out and add in new pals. But that's why we've sorted by level, so we're always putting in the strongest pals that we have. We'll go ahead and grab this last shotgun shell. Boop. So that's done. We'll see about that. We'll just leave that be. Actually, we're not going to leave that be. We're coming to here because we are running quite low. We only have 35. Go ahead and make another 70 of the gunpowder. <laughs> we need more ammo. But as we're getting into this, as always, if you guys like this content, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Here and try this raid boss. Right, so let's go ahead and populate this. Now these people are not going to be happy just because. Okay, still do more. There we go. Sort by a level. Sort. So they are just ready to go. And then open. Pop that in. Summon Powerful Pal. If you summon Powerful Boss, there's a chance that all structures in your base will be destroyed. All pals on base will be incapacitated. Yes. Oh. Alright, so it has crazy amounts of health. It is going down fairly fast, though. Especially with us shooting it. On each one of my rounds, like, doing 500 damage? That's insane. Alright, this one might not be as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright, seem to be almost be a third of the way. And we have, a. Uh, We still have nine minutes. Now, the thing about the next version, there's like a Bella Noir Libro or something. That one is going to be uh, kind of crazy to take on. Actually, go over here to shotguns. Electric 
go. There you are. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that whatever that is is not fun. Switching it up just for to save some of my assault rifle ammo. Takes a while to make all that stuff. There's a supply drop nearby too. Well, we can take care of this first. Alright, we did it. Boss eliminated. Achievement unlocked. Alright, we're going to come into the power management system. And we will just get rid of everyone here. Because there are no beds, there's no anything here for them to deal with. And unfortunately, they did a... Well, they didn't die, which is actually very fortunate. We do have three more slabs because of what we've been working on, but it's actually good that we came over here for the supply drop to drop. Reason being, this area is a lot... It's a lot better. I'm not even going to look at what all that was. We're just trying to get out of here. So we don't get killed. We can come up here. And then we can check it out. So what do we get? This is what we got. So these are the legendary ones that we haven't been able to build yet. Oh, and we got an ancient civilization core. That's amazing. Um, that's actually from defeating the boss, I believe. Training main LXR, training crystal. Huge dark egg as well. Ooh. Oh, that is super nice. I really need to find something to upgrade this because I want to equip that. Having heat resistant level two and cold resistant level two just automatically, that's amazing. Um, that that one's not as, not as good. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these. So that's gonna increase our health by 200 per usage. Amazing. All right, and then what, what was the schematic that we got? PAL Metal Schematic 1. Oh, oh, it's a better version of what I have. So we can get even a little bit stronger. So yeah, giant boss, lots of fun. Let's go over here. Now let's go back to our uh, main base, which is all the way down here. See, do I have any eggs available? No, those guys are still working. That's fine. How are we doing here? Go ahead and make this. So, 150 to that. That's fine. See how well that works. How are we doing over here? A lot of assault rifle ammo. Very happy about that. Hopefully, more people start working on that. Boom. That's done. All right, let's go put our resources away. We have a bunch of those training manuals. I want to hold on to this one, um, just because I think it's something. I think it's actually the person we just fought. Sort that, so we actually have a level two, and that this, I, what's this training crystal? It raises its level by one? That's crazy, we're gonna put that in here. It kind of goes along with that. Um, ancient schematic rules. No, we'll put you in, not there, in here. Because this is where I have the ancient civilization things, maybe, possibly? Yes. And then we'll put those together. Alright, well, that's one way to start a video, is just have success, right? Coming over here, though. This is my schematic booth. Pop you in there like that. And then come over here and pop this guy in here like that. Now these things, I kind of want to... These are all kind of useless now. Since we have that. Resort that. In fact, a lot of these things are useless. Even that's useless. But we can come into here. Discard, 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 and discard. 
All right. So now the question is, what do we want to do now? We are getting quite strong. This is almost done. Hopefully they will finish it off and check. So we're going to equip that and we'll just discard you. Since we, we kind of only play by ourselves. All right. Recipes while I'm away to build things. Gunpowder. We do need more sulfur. That that may be a necessity. Sulfur is in the fire region. We could go over there and grab some of that. You know what? Let's go do that. Go get some resources. If I look at my map, there's some areas that we have yet to explore, like through here. Um, and then I believe there's another island over here as well that we might want to check out. So maybe we'll pop over here and explore a little bit of this um, over there. But let's start by going this way and exploring that. We need more sulfur. And to that end, we, we can carry quite a bit. But I am going to at least get rid of the one egg. That one. Large, large. Or maybe maybe we just leave it in there. Because it is huge, right? So we should know. We should. Alright, fast travel. Oh, uh, this might be really bad. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hold on. Back to base we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, the guy that I have, he he makes things hot. So when you use him, is not good. Where is? There you are. You can come over here. Now we can go back. So even though I have the level two heat on, because the airy environment is also super hot, I cannot appropriately equip them, but now, see, not hot anymore. I need to go this way a little bit, right? Perfect. I already see some sulfur, and we will be on the hunt for some more pals. Is, is that a dungeon? That's a dungeon. Okay. What level is the dungeon? The dungeon's not too bad. Maybe we take it on. Is there anything in here? No. Huh. We need this. <clears throat> what level are you? You are level 40. 40 is the boss. I think we could take on a level 40 boss. You know, I'm feeling sporty. Let's give it a shot. It's gone in two minutes anyways. Let's just put on our map. Let's add a marker. And I want the dungeon marker. Or what I have labeled my dungeon marker. I didn't even know there was a dungeon here. This could be really bad. Oh, so far not too bad. Oh, okay, not... Yeah. Not great either. going to grab this stuff. Well, one is sulfur. But the other resource that I'm finding increasingly hard to come by is palladium fragments. <laughs> you just come back here, buddy. Shotgun, very OP. Glad we got it. But yeah, no, the palladium fragments, 
you can get them from rock and you can find them around the world, but they are kind of a more of a scarcer resource. But the dungeons here, they normally have an abundance of these kind of blocks that we just go ahead and capture. But we have not done a, a dungeon this high of a level. Now, the start there, you know, our guy almost, well, he's half health. He's healing. He'll be fine. But let's continue on. Let's get that shotgun back out. We got plenty of ammo for it, which is good. And we were making more gun gunpowder back at base, and hence why we're getting the sulfur to make even more gunpowder. Let's go over here. It'd be hot. I think I'll go left first, and then we'll go right. Unless this is the way out, and then we'll just go back. Because we do want to explore. I'm wondering if these have... There is a, uh, there's those flowers, right? I'm actually wondering if those flowers are going to be here or not as a higher t Oh my god, you see that guy? All right, those guys we could capture. Let's come over here. I was like, did they kill my guy? stuff there. That's really good. And we will go ahead and take care of this one too. And then we need to go check our food. Now you can see there we're getting a little heavy. It's not the end of the world. We got this. I can give it to you to help heal you and give it to you to help heal you. Handgun schematic one, not the best. And I really don't need these mushrooms. But 80 sulfur would be pretty good. More bones. Bones are good. The other thing we need to be careful about is touching that lava, because even if you fly over it, it seems that you die. So now we're going to go to the right, since we already went left and took all those guys out. Let's get that shotgun back up. This is actually making me want to go to the higher tier dungeons because we are surviving this fairly well. These guys are a little bit stronger. It's not the end of the world. Hmm. 
I think I have too many of them. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting any more XP out of them. That's fine. But... I wish... There's a giant flower. Now, is this one of the large ones or not? Yeah, I already have them. Oh, it is a large one. And we got you. Yeah. Found the exit and it is Robin Quill Terra. That's that's not fun. Those guys have been kind of tough. <laughs> I mean, I have better better balls as well. I could use. I have the their legendary thing over here. Yeah, we haven't been over here. And there's another flower. So I'm glad we came. How are you doing? We still can catch you. Eighteen thousand XP though. That is insane. Syndicate general. Found some more sulfur. Now we will drop, we've picked up quite a bit of ore from doing this, as you see there. And ore, I have 16, it's 128. So now we just dropped quite a bit. 320, 360, we're doing good. I don't really need that either, but it doesn't weigh anything. So let's go ahead and... There's a little bit more. <laughs> Oh, hold on now. Are you lava? You can't be lava, you have to be water. Okay. Nice, hypersphere. Oh. Right. Carrying too much now. I'm gonna go ahead and eat these. Guard that, and what don't we need? Well, that's worth nine. Now I just need a smidgen. Those weigh nothing. Um, let's just drop. There we go. That'll be fine. All right, now let's go fight the boss. Ooh, man, this dungeon be rough. Let me tell you, ha! that's not what I wanted. We are gonna use the big guy. You stay away. The reason we're gonna use the big guy is um, they are ground-esque characters and he has some Leaf attacks. Oh man, mushroom is coming to me. All right, sword again. Lose. How much are you? Fifteen. All right, we'll do that. Uh, why is there a Beacton now? Wasn't this... I mean, I'm okay to take on a Beacton.
finish that. We now need to get back to base. Luckily, wasn't too far away. Let's check these. Alright, what did we get? That, eh, weighs zero, but. Go ahead and use these. <gasps> so that's the next one. We need four of those. We did get some ancient civilization parts. That's really solid, as well as a normal slab, which is interesting. Go ahead and sort. Do need to get rid of something now. Those high priced. Um, electric organs. Bones. They each weigh two. These are the easiest to get rid of. Alright. Hmm! I, I, I didn't want it. That was a legendary sphere, too. Mm. Now let's leave the dungeon. That was a crazy dungeon, though. I kind of want to do more now. Alright, well, we need to, uh. <laughs> the heck out of Dodge. There it is. I was like, I don't need to go all the way up there, do I? Nope, nope, nope. nope. Alright. Fast travel, back to main base. here, positing all of that, coming over here, positing all that, so now we have tons of that, and come over here as well, and depositing that one, so now you can see we have more slabs to fight the level 30 version, and then, um, these aren't really needed, but we got the large speed lotuses, which is amazing, and these guys, or at least this one, is done, Suzaku, 18,000 experience, not too bad. We're gonna grab this huge egg, which I believe is gonna be the the raid boss, which would be awesome. Coming over here, we're gonna deposit these. You can see how much bigger they are. <laughs> but if we come into here, I need six, I think six of them. Yeah, now the, the gal claw, we can go find that stuff. Or I already have enough to that one <laughs> if I wanted to speed. But that's work speed. We don't care too much about work speed. Memory wiping medicine? Oh, that's cool. Now what I do want is want to increase the number of slots that I have. I need to potentially look that one up. Let's come over here. Deposit that stuff. Sort that. Still have decent amount of ammo and things. I don't need this coarse ammo on me though. Um, let's actually look at our technology. Yes, I need to get to level 47, which I'm a little ways off, I think. I'm at 46, almost there. Um, but I need to get there in order to get some more. Uh, ooh, look at that. Well, let's add another 100 to that. Get the next thing to replace that guy. And that will allow me to upgrade the base again. We can get another pal, which will make life easier. But that is going to take an hour. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, we're going to fast travel. And we're going to come up to the frozen. Oh no, we're going to come over here. That's right. <laughs> I lied. We're coming over here. Now, these guys, I think, are a bit lower level. We might be able to drop down to a megasphere. Oh, pfft. Basic sphere. Yeah. Ah. Alright, map though. We want to go this way, I think. Yes. We're also looking for not only. Well, we can grab some eggs while we're, we're here, but we're looking for kind of pals in the world to capture to get more technology points, which are nice. 
Um, but also, uh, we are looking for those little statues. So we can upgrade ourselves even further. What is this? We're going down. Oh, there's a dungeon over here. It's kind of cool, though. And this is what I was talking about. We're looking for these guys. And I think this dungeon's pretty low level. Yeah, it's only level 13. We're not going to be doing that. In fact, I don't even want to mark it anymore. Now this... can take that guy. Pencils, bread. Alright, let's look at our map. Alright, we're kind of going the correct way, clearing all this out. Not just a bunch of stone. This is actually a really nice place to build a, uh, a base, if you ask me. Might be a pet man, anything up here? Oh, there's an egg. Map it up. One thing we need to figure out is how to take on um, certain pounds, per se. And that is the Anubis that I really, really want to take on. Oh, we found another guy. Where is he? This is what we were looking for. We were looking for these types of guys, so we can capture more of them. There he is. We'll just do it like that. Hmm. That should be an easy capture. First boss kill. And we didn't have 12 of those guys, so that actually helps out as well. Oop, there's another fast travel point. We'll grab that along the way. Have I actually been even over here? I have not. Ooh, new area. Whole new area. I do have these pals though already. They're not that much stronger either. I was about to say, it's a Bulbasaur. Nope, I already have those. So there is also an achievement to kind of max out the, the pals. You can buy, I found out you can buy things that allow you to actually upgrade their level um, rather than catching, I think it's 128, I think it doubles each time. Ah. Got a copper key. Gotta be something up there. Oop, don't have enough of you. Yeah. That's a hundred percent. You see, even though it's super low level. And it's kind of one of the more basic pals. I still get lots of XP for it. Please tell me this is something. It's... It's an egg. There's a fast travel thing over there. I guess we'll head that way. Oh, no, we're going to go this way. We found a new friend to face. And he's level 31, so not too shabby. Question is, where is he at? I'm going to the structure over here. A lot of times you'll get to a structure. Yeah, and there was a chest there at least. 
Oh, there he is. Sometimes there's those darn statues we keep looking for. Now we are almost, um, we are on the last tier of those statues. Which is at least something. But we have to collect 255 of them, that's ridiculous. All right, copper key. All right, let's go capture this guy. Still got crazy XP for him. We're getting more ancient civilization parts. It just it's just all around good now. Ooh, these guys. Yeah. Do want to capture them? Huh. I remember when I first played this game. We ran into those guys and we died. Like not once. Like a couple times, I was really, really like struggling against him. Now though, you can it's like my level's so high, it doesn't even really matter. Grab this piece of wool as we head over yonder. Let's actually check the top of this. Maybe there's a statue. I can actually reach up that eye. We should be able to get there. And there's just this thing. Now these are like new things on the ground you can just like pick up and you get, well I got five dog coins. Oh, the, oh, I think that is the complex I've heard so much about. So there's like a evil complex for all the, uh, the bad guys over there. And we need to go defeat it at some point, but... It's recommended, I believe, that you be crazy high level. Desert Runaway. Come over here. Alrighty. Let's check the map. Yeah, it's not what I wanted. So I'm feeling pretty strong. Especially with our abilities to... What is that? Alright, alright. I was going to say let's go into the high level areas. But I kind of want to go check out the stuff over there to the right. If it's something. Luckily though. Oh, we got frag grenades? What is that? No, this is something we can do. I didn't know if it was on the edge of the map. I wonder if there's any like crazy pals over here. Hopefully it's not one of those like, oh, leave the area. Although I'm feeling strong enough now we can take those guys on. I think they were only like level 40 or something. They did have assault rifles. But now I do, too. Well, we're just going to go there to fast travel back home. After we check this out... Come on, please be a secret here somewhere. Don't just be a cheeky egg. What are we doing on... Oh, running out of room. Well, that clears that up. Boom. And I could use that if I really needed to. Go check out this island, and then we'll head out to that fast travel point, and we will get back to base. Oh, 
why can't there have been something more substantial out here? Like, this is a ways to get out, and you can only re really get out here when you get a pal. You can't really do it prior to that, just because that grappling thing and everything else is not sufficient. Alright, well, let's go to this little island over here. And then this is the other part of the desert, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Not enough stamina. Who's he? What's it? Alright. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I, I just wish I had more time to play it. It's just one of those games that's extensive. Almost like Fallout or anything else. These open world games, they just take so much time to invest to play and go get things. Now we're getting there, right? Like I'm almost close to my... <laughs> another... <laughs> Or 250,000 needed um, to gain a level, but is this kind of a shrine to the, the legendary pals that we found? Because if you remember, we went into the desert, we found our friends, they were not happy to see us. Is this even open? I'm wondering. Oh! It's a arena only. That's cool. Uh -huh. So I guess it's a... Uh, we will fight type kind of deal. Anything up here? Anything around back? If we played multiplayer, maybe we would fight other people. Now, the thing is, with me going and complaining about... Oh, I gotta get that stupid thing. Um, not playing enough. I have seen people play this game to ridiculous standards of breeding the most powerful pals to get the most, like, the best ability combinations on them, just to be able to destroy things. And although that's fun and that's cool, that's never been my playstyle for even Pokemon games. I kind of just pick a team that I enjoy. Um, I tried going for like really high EV stats once when they had the Pokemon Let's Go. I had the Let's Go Pikachu and I ended up getting a Rhydon <laughs> early on in Rock Tunnel. And I was grinding out trying to get a shiny one because I wanted, um, well, I got a Rhyhorn. Rhydon wasn't available, but uh, I eventually evolved him, right? Um, so I wanted a shiny Rhyhorn. And I was just like, what I wanted? And I kept going and going. I got that counter so far up. And the issue with that was, is that I found a really good one, and it was great, right? It's like, I got a really, really good one, but all the catching, because that game gave you XP, oh man, was I overpowered for the rest of the game? It was insane. This is, yeah, coal. We can always take coal. Although we do have a coal mine, we can ah. always take it. And what level are you? You're 40... I look at the map, you are not... Oh, you're a level 45 variant of him. But yeah, so, it just... I could do it, like, I can grind it out. I'm not opposed to doing so. It's just that it starts to become to the point where you're becoming overpowered and the game is no longer a challenge. Let's see if that, if that might not catch. It did. That's a lot of coal. We might want to grab that coal. Ooh. Oh, what is this? There's two? How many of you guys do I have? I only have one. Let's see if I can take you one. Yeah. I will put something on my map for at least this. Reason being is that there are two two crude oil deposits. Now we're not there yet. We keep getting all of We have a bunch of crude oil, but it's from 
It is from the drops, the supply drops, not anything else. Is this any rock in particular? This seems weird. It's just it's just a random other colored rock. Alright, I like it. Alright, that's enough gold for now. I need to build a base in the desert? I mean, I'm down for it, don't get me wrong. I just want to know. But the shotgun... I'm really starting to like the pump-action shotgun for how much damage it can output. Alright, we're going to check over here. And then once we're done checking over here, we're heading back to base. that one on the way back. <laughs> so we gotta come back this way. I'm pretty sure I could take on the level 45 one at this point. Did you see the, the little statue thing? These guys are fun. Yeah. <laughs> Cement. Is there nothing all the way out here? Of course not. I mean, there's a chest, but that is anticlimactic. So we want, we want the stupid statues. It increases our catching power. It gets us closer to an achievement. I really want to start doing some high-level dungeons, though, not only for the upgrades, which would be really nice, but also for the potential to grab really good weapon schematics. Mm. And so we're going to go for that, and then we'll go back over there to get back home. What level am I? Ooh, 82. We find a nice little cluster of people that we don't have, like you, this is one of them. Yeah. Alright, got you. Inventory, did I miss something here? I did. I don't need tomato seeds. Did we gain a level yet? Let's see. Nope, I need to catch two more pals. There's one. Huh. 
And there's two. experience now per pal catch. Let me tell you, that is a uh, deppy something. Alright, well, let's head back to base and see if we can't upgrade our said base. And I am cold, which is not good. Let's go ahead and add that on. This is also why I really, really want to have that. Okay, hold on one second. Let me check the map. It is this way. <laughs> This is why I really want to have that undershirt on, because that kind of just protects me all the way around. So I'd only need to carry one armor, and it would just be my best armor. Oh, there it is. I can barely see it in the distance. so close yet so far away. I'm just so glad that uh, Beacon didn't die. Now I do want to get strong enough, and that's why we also need to go into the dungeons to find more and more and more things, um, is to be able to take on the level 55 like legendary guys, because I think we actually need to capture all of them like Palladus, there's Jetragon, he's not one, um, I, think there's, I think there's one up there. There's a few of them. Um, but yeah, it's it's a thing. Let's come into here. Open this. Do a little bit of that. That cleans that up nicely. A little bit of that. Some of that. Alright, so only really one new one. Coming over here to the seeds. This is this is working out. A very tiny. Is that literally? Do I not have those? Oh no, I don't. So I sort. Now you have one small. Jeez. All right. Sorting. Let's see if I can put the cement in. Is there cement in here? No. Let's put it in this one. Why not? How are we doing on eggs? Two eggs are ready. You have another 48 minutes. Ooh, nice. The XP. The XP be real. Alright, let's grab just a huge frozen egg. Sort that. Pop you in there. Let's run over here. Do those guys. Now this is heat resistant metal armor schematic too. So that's metal armor, this is pal armor. So I'm pretty sure what I'm wearing is better. Of course. They didn't take care of that. So yeah, that's 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 nothing even compared to the base of that. So we're not even gonna worry about that one. Build. Um, we actually need to unlock it. Technology. Boom. Don't need those. Build production. Let's do a um, control. Seem to be about good. Not so much. Um, can't say that.
There we go. All right. These are not necessarily equally spaced, but there is a lot of space between them. So we're going to go over here. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. We have some resources that we don't necessarily need. All right, that should jumpstart all that. Probably need some more shocking. Definitely do not need 80 arrows on me. And I probably need some more ultra spheres. Let's see what they take. Ultra sphere. The limiting factor is cement. So let's just make 25 of those. Let's come over here and let's try to make some cement. Which, that's why we need bones. Do that, and now I have this bad boy that will speed up my production of things. Turn that on, and we will go check. First off, I want the cool looking armor. I like the shoulder piece on that. Over here, so I have 11. I need 43. <laughs> A little bit to go. But anyways, that is going to do it for today. So we're making more spheres. We have we need to upgrade the base, um, which we can do right now. So base upgrade and upgrade base check. So I can have one more PAL working. I don't actually, uh, I need another bed. But next time what we want to do is we want to travel north all the way up here somewhere. And we want to start finding more of the dungeons and going in and doing those. I actually want to explore this area. This is kind of a higher level area up here. Um, we could fast travel here and just go this way. But let's try to do some more high level dungeons. And maybe try to take on some of these stronger pals. 47, maybe not. 45, it's in the realm of possibility. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching once again. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you guys next time. Dr. Munchkin, signing out.